So at this point, we all know that against a Tombstone Myers, it's a really good idea to jump into a locker so that he can't insta-kill you and instead he's forced to pull you out. But there's actually a lot more instances where lockers can be used tactically by survivors to gain an advantage. In this particular example, I went into the locker at the last second when I was about to go down to deny the killer from using Jolt. Especially in indoor maps, a killer downing you can hit multiple gens at once, but if you go into a locker last second, they'll be forced to pull you out, which will waste a little bit of their time and deny the perk completely. Another instance where you might want to use a locker in the last second is if you know that the killer is going to 100% leave you on the ground slugged. In in this tournament that we're watching, the survivor knew that the killer would down them and then go for the final gen, so they went into the locker, which forced the killer to spend extra time. Compared to downing someone normally and just leaving, going into a locker and then pulling them out and then dropping them on the ground takes about an extra 6 seconds, which is a pretty long time for your teammates to finish doing something important. And perhaps the funniest use of lockers in Chase is against a trickster that activates main event. Since they can't open it or hit you inside it, they're just stuck there until their power runs out or they cancel it. But maybe don't do it if you know they have Iron Maiden.